I don't know if you believe in plus minus in terms of determining how good or how not good a player was on the court, but we'll use it as an example here, looking back in game three of the NBA Finals. Every single Warrior that played, it was all of them to varying degrees, every single one of them were in the minus category. Steph, minus 22. Harrison, and he was one of the better players, minus 24. My point is this, big question after game three was, what's wrong with the Warriors? What can they do better? Simple, match the Cavaliers' aggression. The Cleveland Cavaliers came out and pushed the Warriors, and they didn't push back. Hey, listen, shots are not going to fall sometimes. You can clearly see that Steph is having a rough go of it, and, and Clay tried to get it started, but by that point, the thing was already rolling downhill in a bad way for the Warriors. But the one thing you can't control is your effort on the defensive end. And I think that's what Steve Kerr meant when he talked about the Warriors being or playing soft, and Draymond saying that they got punked and they played soft is that when the Cavs pushed, the Warriors didn't do anything about it defensively. I mean, look at this. The Warriors turned the ball over 18 times. They gave up 34 points off of turnovers. You know what that is? Bad transition defense. You know what makes bad transition defense? Not putting forth the effort to get back on defense. The Warriors are going to be fine. However, the way they can get this thing over with and not let the Cavs feel as though they've gotten any mojo is that when the Cavs push, and they're going to push again, push back, but push back defensively. Always remember with the Warriors, as great as they are offensively, that stems from them getting after it defensively. If they do that, what we saw in game three will never happen again.